Brad, it's time to go back. Back? Back to, to the game room. All right. Not the future. No. The past, actually. Back to... Well, th this... We're living in the future because we're buying virtual arcade machines. Virtual goods. My favorite kinds of goods. Virtual goods and... Well, so I guess there's some services in there as well. <laughs> um, so this is the first week of Game Pack 8. Okay. Which, uh, according to the description, means over the next few weeks we're going to be looking at... Uh, Ten Atari 2600 games? <clears throat> and five in television games. And that's everything in the pack, And that's right? everything in the pack. That's, it's kind of weird. It's, five, it's for the next three weeks, basically. Yeah, and then you've got two broken <laughs> avatars right off the bat. <laughs> this is going great. Uh, this is already going great. It's kind of weird that they just tell you up front how many games and what games are in the pack. Yeah. Or what kind, at least. I mean, it's like, here's all the stuff that's on your I hard drive right now. I think it's because right if now, you go to the showcase arcade... Oh, what is, what is going on? <clears throat> I think we're going to need to... I need download pack eight again here. Oh, good. So this is uh, yeah. So I place these in the arcade, but since I don't have it, uh, let's download it to that thing. So arcade cabinets are made <laughs> out of lasers. Yeah, you get laser cabinets until you get it. So there you go. Game pack 008 is here, implying that there could be as many as 999 packs. <laughs> but this week they couldn't even get any arcade games. No Atari or Konami arcade games. Man. Just there you go. Those 2600 games. Five television games. Uh, oh God! And it's time for new arcade hardware in game room. It has been. It has been time. Yeah, seriously. Come on. Yeah, this is because uh, we're looking at the next couple of weeks here. Yeah. You know, there's this week five games, and then ten games in the next two weeks. There'll be more of this stuff. It's just, I mean, you're reaching <laughs> the point of diminishing returns on these platforms. Oh yeah, and then some. I mean, you know, like one of the games this week, the Atari 2600 version of Centipede. Oh. Uh, Which they already released the arcade yeah, version. Yeah, yeah, like it's the, the amount of overlap is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you could make the argument that like, well, you know, they're not expecting idiots to go buy every <laughs> single thing there, but... Somebody's got to. That's something that you do a, a year in. Yeah. You know, like sure. start releasing, like, well, you know, we're... Once you've released so many games that no one could possibly own them all unless they're an idiot... <laughs> Like me. <laughs> I don't know. All right. My arcade will now be reloaded. 70 megabytes is kind of big for 15 games from that era. Yep. But uh, keep in mind, there's probably a mascot for each game. Oh, okay, yeah. There's the instructions, art artwork. all yeah, this sure. artwork, you know, the, the cabinet. Dude. So, let's what? start with the hits. What? 3D Tic-Tac-Toe. Okay, this was an Atari 2600 game, obviously. Sure. Um, where do you think I should put my X? Mm -hmm. I'm right there. there. So he's got one there, one there. I should go up here to cut off whatever diagonal business he's doing, I think. So this one there, I don't know. What's the ultimate objective? Do you need a line up and down and horizontal? I think it's four in a row uh, anywhere. So okay. th And I think it could be diagonal. So it could be one on this bottom row here in the corner. Okay. And then this one right there. Oh, wow. And so on. Um, so he's trying to do that, so I'll block that. <sighs> now what? I, this is, I don't know. How about I just go there and see what happens? That'll block him there <laughs> and force him to go there to block me there. So it's four in a row. Okay. Not three. All right. Because uh, that's pretty intense, right? Clearly. Um, well, let's. I can. No. Go there. I don't know. He's gonna, eventually. I just gotta start putting them on this plane because he'll just start going for easy ones. So that's there. There. Eventually, I'm just going to lose and not and go, oh, I didn't see that one. You should just let the computer win. 
Yeah, that's that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I can fool it by going here next. Uh, no, it blocked that one. Let's uh, go here, which I'll force it to do. Oh wait, no. He, it, it, it. Oh, see, just like I said, it was gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> Well, after the computer went for a, a nine pylon, twelve gate opening, yeah, I kind of assumed that it was all over with. Pretty much, uh, I was just not ready to deal with it. Maybe it's better in black and white. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Could the uh, could the twenty six hundred do vector graphics of any kind? That was as close as it got. I yeah. mean, you know, vector, true vector graphics like they were in arcades required specific monitors. Oh really? Yeah, those weren't. I didn't know that. Those weren't. Those monitors were not capable of doing anything other than that. I think, really. So. That's, I had no idea. Beam Rider from Activision. We're going to ride some beams. Hooray. Any idea if this one has one of those patches attached to it? Uh, I think this might have been too late for the patches. Okay. This is sort of like uh, Juno First, the Konami arcade game we had uh, That's on a few game weeks group? ago. Yeah. Okay. I think. That's, you know, that's, what it's all, that's kind of what it looks like. It's all a blur at this point, right? I don't know. I don't know what I'm. I'm shooting them, but they're not dying. I don't know if that's because some of this stuff is invincible or just takes more shots. I'm gonna go with invincible. I think yeah. that, was, that was at least three shots, wasn't it? <clears throat> it was, and there wouldn't be time to get too many more of them in there. Right. Yay! The, <laughs> well, the fireworks went off because I got 144 <laughs> points. Is that all the Beam Rider yeah, you can Beam stand? Rider. Uh, you know, maybe that's all the Beam Rider we need to see. Probably. Uh, let's move on to... Oh, there it is. The Fabled. Now, look at the amazing graphics for your ship, <laughs> for your shooter in this. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. You all just rectangle, and I shoot smaller rectangles. <laughs> well, those are horizontal rectangles. At these balls. You are of a vertical orientation. Oh, oh, man. Is there absolutely any valid reason that a person should prefer this to the arcade version? Well, this version was originally played with a joystick, whereas okay. the, the, you know, uh, the, you've got the the other one was played with a trackball. Right, right. Um, so this is probably, you know, this is more directly like its original version than the other one, so. Man, even back in the early 80s, arcade to home ports were sucking. Yeah, oh yeah. That was not like a new phenomenon on the Nintendo. I mean, that was, Super uh, to me, that was like, that was one of the big things about the Super Nintendo is like some of those games were pretty close. Like really close. Yeah, like, like final the, the, the final fight that came out at launch, other than, other than, it not other having, than missing a third yeah. of the characters. <laughs> And taking out the hookers, right? Uh, graphically, but like uh, Super Smash TV was really yeah, yeah. Was, was like you know it was pretty close. It wasn't yeah. identical. Yeah. And then of course you know you look at like Tekken on the PlayStation and oh, stuff totally. like those yeah. were. No, that was that was about the era where it started to shift. Yeah. Once once the money was on the consoles and not in the arcades anymore. Right. Right. Was... And also the consoles got so powerful that they became the arcade yeah. hardware. Was that System 11? Yeah, yeah. This is not a System 11 game. Or System 22? Or yeah, I don't know. Oh man, the scorpions are fast in this game. And they've poisoned those mushrooms. <laughs> Ugh. I don't, uh, I hate to inform you, but your hamburger is burning. <laughs> so, Damn yeah. it. I think that they need to take Halo 2600 and put it out on Game Room for that. free. Yes. Oh, well, for free. You think they? You think they're that generous? They, should, they could use it to inspire some <laughs> interest in Game Room. <laughs> I think that's the only thing they have uh, that actually has the potential of selling, though. Like that's probably the only thing that like, average people would actually come to Game Room and buy, right? Maybe. But you can already play that in a web browser. Yeah, that's true. You know? So it's true. like. We should have just quick looked at that. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe we should tack that onto the end of this. <laughs> yeah, 
You know, all things considered, this, this is a functional game. Yeah, I guess. That dude got 108,000 points in this. <laughs> he played this long enough to do that. Eh, it's not that long. Yeah, I guess I'm a 20. You're about a fifth of the way there already. You know, in the arcade version, when you partially shot a mushroom... Oh, by the way, those are mushrooms. In case you haven't seen real centipede before. <laughs> the other blocks are supposed to be mushrooms. <laughs> it takes four shots to kill a mushroom, just like in real life. <laughs> but yeah, it would, uh, it would like chip away at them, right? Yeah, yeah. In the, in the arcade. It's like a visible... It's, uh, right. There's our... There's centipede. All right. Got some medals. All right. If you like Centipede on the 2600, you may also enjoy Jailbreak. Oh? Centipede and Jailbreak are pretty much the same game, so really? I can see why they would say that. Um, let's play Cosmic Commuter. Oh, you know, maybe I do remember this game. I don't remember it by name, but then that little bit there did look sort of familiar. Oh, all right. Oh. Man. Okay, yeah, so... Pretty sweet spaceship you have there. Dude, this is... What the hell? This game has the appearance of parallax scrolling. I know, right? What the... Oh, man. I mean, that's kind of the beautiful thing I, about the 2600 is, you know, there was a lot of... Did I kill that guy? I, <laughs> I think you picked him up. Okay. That's what I was trying to do. I choose to believe that you rescued him. Man. This, this, dude, your ship has a shadow? Yeah. It gets bigger when you get close to the ground? This might be the best looking 2600 game I've ever seen. Huh. Maybe I did kill that guy. That's unfortunate. Almost running out of fuel, too. I don't know how to get more. <laughs> Should I fly into that thing? Try it. No. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Commute better. We need to find dudes and pick them up and bring them back to the ship. I'm, that seems like a likely... Hey, uh, hey, there's a dude. There, I got points. So yeah, that's clearly like... Okay. okay, it says I got one man in the ship over there. Okay. You see? Down yes. to the bottom left, so... Maybe I can't go back until I deal with all the mans. Let's gun it. That's the sound of me running out of fuel. Yeah, that number is uh, decreasing rapidly. Oh, that was a dude. Get that dude. Get him. <laughs> Here, get in my spaceship. <laughs> now die. <laughs> 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 oh, man. You would think if you're going to rescue those guys, they would be polite enough to give you some fuel. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember yeah. how to get fuel. There's got to yeah. be... No, nobody rides for free. Yeah, exactly. You know? Don't forget to shoot meteors in space mines. One reaches three. Or refuel by flying into purple fuel pods. Purple fuel pods, of course. And Thin Ice, the lone in television game this week. Which means they'll probably have to have two games a week for the Intellivision over the next two weeks. Or, or well, something I can't wait. like that. That's yeah, these... Yeah. Um, <laughs> Get ready, Penguin 1. Alright, I'm the Penguin. Alright. Is this Kicks? Am I just playing Kicks? <laughs> Apparently. Oh, I can swim. Oh, that doesn't count. I gotta... Whoa. Is that a seal? Yeah. It's a dastardly seal. It's a real jerk. Covering up, bracing your progress. He's uncutting the ice. <laughs> Step off!
Yeah, so, you know, it's kind of kicks-like. Yeah. Oh! Oh, man. That seal. That seal, now totally. an ice cube, even though I was swimming earlier. Totally picked you up on his nose. All right, nose. Penguin 1. So you are a thin ice first-timer, right? I am. Did you ever have an Intellivision? Uh, I have one now. I didn't have one okay. when they were current. I got one way later. Are they hard to find? No. no probably. Really. Probably. Old. Oh, my God. I don't... Well... Is it a Zamboni? Yeah. I think so. And Penguin 1 is on the Zamboni. Okay. The television seems like it was more powerful than the 2600. Is that accurate? I think so. Or That's were they just like were the designers just better? No, I, I think the designers on the 2600 were better just because there were more of them, you know? Okay. Um, and they, they realistically, I guess, had to work within... Yeah, the parameters. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's there are books about how to how to program on the twenty six hundred and just kind of hearing stories from people that did it. It uh, it sounds crazy. <laughs> oh, that bear! I bet Mike Micah don't need no book. Yeah. Or Ed Freeze. Well, no, that he actually that he well I guess Ed Freeze had programmed uh, like Atari eight hundred games and stuff back in the day. Like when it was new. Yeah, that, at least that's what it sounded like wow. uh, from because he he wrote a you know. He wrote some stuff to go along with that Halo release. Oh, yeah? Uh, but he had never programmed 2600, so he actually did read this book, this Writing oh, the Bean wow. book, and picked it up from that. Oh, I've, okay, I've heard of that book. Yeah. yeah. Ah! He does not cut. He does not cut the way you'd want him to. Game over, Penguin 1. Huh. Man, game room. I don't know. Let's uh let's go to the showcase arcade and see if we can sneak a peek at what's going to be happening for the next couple of weeks here. Do, do you even really care that much? No. Like knowing that it's more 2600 in television, I mean. But they do this thing uh, where they set up this arcade and apparently like you could buy all the the Game Pack 7 games before they were officially released. Oh great. By buying them out of the showcase arcade. Wait, could, could you actually play them? Yeah, yeah, oh, if, you, okay. if you bought them you could play them. It's not like you were just like pre-ordering them. No. You get two mascots for that. We have to go through here and just recognize cabinets. Man, so, I, like telling me that I missed the week that Haunted House came in. Yep. Damn. I can't believe they're making a new Haunted House. What the hell? So weird. And a Haunted House. Oh no, no, actually, that's Haunted Mansion. Is the movie, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. That's right. Raid two. I'm not even seeing any of the games that we just played out here, so maybe maybe they haven't updated the Showcase Arcade yet. I think that's something that they do server-side, so it just fills it up. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, Game Room. <laughs> Is there any indicator here? It's, no, it's just running this trailer forever. Remember when Game Room mattered? Uh, I, for for like six hours, I was I was pretty excited about Today it before it came out. Yeah. It's like, man, this seems like something that would be really cool. It's a good thing for them to do, kind of throw throw back retro fun. No, no, not so much. What is that fifty three? What's what are your coins? For so that's the number there? of tokens that I have. You can play games without buying them if you have tokens. Aha. Um, oh right, yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. Okay. And when people visit your arcade, you get more tokens. Hmm. I don't know. It's a weird system that I get around by just buying all the games, <laughs> which is probably not the smartest I don't, way to I go. Don't, I don't know that you're coming out ahead in that transaction. Oh, well, you know, we get to keep making these videos, and in the end, that's all that matters. Just keep watching your avatar do the robot. Yep. So that's Game Room. First yeah. week of uh, Game Pack 8. We'll be back next week with more emulated 70s, 80s console excitement. Hooray.